sickle cell disease is a genetic disorder in which RBCs of a person take in the shape of sickle cell. The cells die early and unable to carry adequate amount of oxygen. Now the problem is the person is generally anemic and they have the all the symptoms of anemia. But the real trouble is comes when the sickle cell crisis happens and this is the most commonly asked questions in your examinations. Normally, RPCs are disc-shaped and flexible, so they can move easily through the blood vessels. But in sickle cell disease, RPCs are misshaped, typically crescent or sickle-shaped, due to a gene mutation. They do not bend or move easily, form a huge bulk and this can eventually block the blood flow to the organ and the rest of the body. The triggers may include dehydration, infection and stress. Now what to do? In your exams, they will ask what is the nursing priority in patients with sickle cell crisis. Always remember that even the patient is having lack of oxygen or they are in severe pain. Your priority will be IV fluid administration. Because when you administer IV fluid, this helps in flushing of RBCs which are clamped in the blood vessels. Then go for oxygen administration and then pain medication. And this is all about the sickle cell anemia and sickle cell crisis. At last, this is a question for you. What is the duration of RBCs in a person with sickle cell crisis? Comment your answers in comment box.